Hello, I'm Ed Case. And I'm Odyssey. And welcome to Base Race, the episode zero, where we're going to be talking about the blocks, the rules, the winners, and everything Base Race. We're going to describe everything about Base Race, just in this one very short episode. Exactly. Not quite, but yes. <laughs> ah, here we are with the new set of blocks. We're going to have a very quick look at these now, just, just, just to set, set ourselves in. Settle ourselves in. <laughs> I don't know, something. Um, but... First and foremost, we are in Technoscribe's build, this beautiful meditation center. Um, and yeah, definitely have a look at this from afar. Ooh, sh- yeah, indeed. <laughs> Let's get some distance on this so we can properly look at it. Indeed. I actually, I love the fact that we're, it's, it's been transported to a, a mesa biome <laughs> and all the trees and everything look kind of slightly dead. And it looks like uh, what what was a, a thriving place. Wow. <laughs> A thriving place is now slightly like decayed or something. It's been overrun or something, but and yet it still looks beautiful. Yeah, it looks awesome. So yeah, that that is that. That is very very cool. Actually, talking about bases, um, we had a lot of really good entries again. I I really love the bases. I just I just love going to each video and watching and and seeing all the bases. And yeah, it, it's really interesting how people come up with so many different things with all the same blocks. It, yeah. It's really kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's yeah we we had some really good bases and um, Cherry Bit has also got the same number of votes as this one did. But yeah, this is the winner. Okay, so to business. the The winners of the race stage last month. Um, if you want to get somewhere where the camera is pointing at a blank screen or something, so I can put things up on screen. Let's look at this. <laughs> That'll do. Okay, so in third place last month is Cherry Bitters with 2 hours, 14 minutes, and 23 seconds. Coming in really, really close to that is Baker Bell with 2 hours, 12 minutes, and 28 seconds. So only a couple of minutes apart on those two. And then with a screaming lead, we have John Fowl with one hour, 40 minutes and 51 seconds. Why are you moving the mouse? I'm like nodding. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, yes, well done once again. Um, I'm actually going to point this out. I hope he doesn't mind that um, OG got our very first creeper face on the <laughs> um on, on the thingamajig and uh, that's an achievement which is going down in the hall of fame so congratulations og you you, you can hold on to that forever <laughs> um i wanted to actually talk about a, a couple of things oh first and foremost actually i've said that before this is like halfway through the video so, so. it's not really first it's like middle and middlemost Ol and I are together, and we're going to be recording this together. Indeed. If you missed our 1,000 subscriber special announcement video, then uh, you you won't, won't know, know. <laughs> that uh, Ed and I are together. He has visited me at uni, and we are spending, I don't know, quite a decent amount of time together, and we're just going to be recording, recording lots and lots of stuff, and that includes Base Race. Indeed. Um, again, like our uh, 1,000 subscriber video, we're going to be dual-seating Base Race. Oh, it's going to be fun. I've got no idea how this is going to turn out, but um, I think we can do it. I don't know if we'll be able to do it very fast, but yeah. I think we'll be able to do it in one, uh, two hours 40. If we can dual see distance, we can do anything. Exactly. Aha. Uh-huh. So, yeah, there's that. Also, I wanted to talk about um, a couple of rules. Now, these are either rule kind of adjustments, little amendments, or just clarifications that I, I wanted to you know make clear to everyone. <laughs> Clarifications that I wanted to make clear <laughs> to everyone. Um, the beds. Okay, until now, uh, the rule about the beds has been that you can't make any, even in the build stage, uh, and you can't sleep in any and, and stuff like that. Uh, but I've decided to change that so you can make a bed in the build stage and sleep in it. Because, you know, the build stage is not part of the kind of challenge where you get, you know, the race challenge where you have to reset yourself to the start if you die. Um, So, yeah, for now, I mean, unless I realize somehow it's going to be abused. (laughs) That is a nice shot. Thank you for your camera work. (laughs) Um, That you can build a bed in the base stage. You can even use it as decoration blocks in in the base um, and you can sleep in it. So so that's something new. Um, Another thing that I wanted to talk about is... um, Okay, this is like a clarification. Um, If a decoration block, 
say, like an item frame or signs or torches or anything like that, thank you, um, is in the list of items that you have to collect and it has a, like a number next to it, then you have to use that exact number. You can't use more of it because it's a decoration block. Because usually with like flower pots or something, that's a decoration block. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the cinematography here. <laughs> You'd be able to use as many of those as you liked because they're decoration blocks. But if they're in the list and they say it has 23 next to it, then you have to use exactly 23. Okay. That is out the way. We don't have to talk about that anymore. Let's move on to the blocks. Indeed. The blocks. I'm heading down there as quickly as my stairs will allow me to. <laughs> uh, this is the front door, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so here we are again. Let's talk about the interesting things. We've got a music disc. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The That means that either you're going to have to go down and find one in a, uh, a dungeon chest, or, and I would probably recommend this. You're going to have to get a skeleton to shoot a creeper. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing people trying to do that. <laughs> that can be fun. That's definitely can be very fun. tricky. <laughs> um, what else have we got on the list there? We've got some diamonds to collect. Let's look at the end of the list there. We've got the enchanting table and the jukebox. Um, okay, so people are going to be groaning about this one because, yes, that means six diamonds that you're going to have to collect. Three for the... Um, well, for the enchanting table and the jukebox, and another three for the pickaxe to collect the obsidian that goes into the enchanting table. So, Unless, I guess a way around that would be to be very lucky and find a village where in the blacksmith you'll find obsidian. Indeed. That'll halve the amount of diamonds that you'll have to collect. Of but, course. Uh, so, but, but, yes, ignoring that, <laughs> it is going to be six. Um, what else is on here? Anything... We've got hardened clay. Oh, I don't know where you're going to get hardened clay around here. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know. You'll have to look in all the puddles, try and find some some you know clay. But uh... <laughs> <clears throat> oh, by the way, look to the left uh, behind you. The horse. Don't oh, yeah. use the horse. I put a sign in there saying don't use the horse. It was just it appeared. I didn't realize it would be carried through. This must be Technus horse. This horse is not for use in the race stage. Um, Oh, it's happy. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> uh, it, um, MC Edit must have brought it in. I didn't realise it would do that, but it did. So, Techno, your horse is here. Uh, don't use it. <laughs> I didn't want to kill it, though. It's just, yeah, it's so cute. Oh, it's reading the sign now. It's just like, oh, <laughs> I'm not for use. Nobody has time for you. Okay, um, let's have one more look at the list. Is there anything else? Ooh, what? Doors. Doors. I haven't, I haven't seen these kinds of doors in so long or ever <laughs> because I've been I've been away from Minecraft for that yeah, long yeah I don't know when imagine. they came in did they come in in 1.8 1.8 I think probably. so yeah. anyway um, anything else really tricky on that list um, oh of course okay and here we here we come to the big one black carpet and one wall up above that as well um, sheep we're, uh, let's face it, we're in a Mesa biome. There are no sheep immediately nearby, which means everyone, you're going to have to go out and ex explore for creepers, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> explore and find the sheep. There are some relatively nearby, but it's not going to be something that you can just run straight into because we're in a Mesa biome. Yeah, maybe a little bit more of a trek than you're used to. Exactly. And I think that's nice in a way because if you look at all the blocks here, it's mostly underground stuff a lot of mining for diamonds redstone gold lapis coal and just stone and all these things um so we've got a little thing to do on the surface as well so yeah hopefully i think that i think it's possible i i'm wondering if it's one of the harder ones or i'm not sure Maybe, I it really depends a, on the sheep doesn't it i think so yeah it really depends on the sheep <laughs> and the diamonds of course yes but there you go. I think it's possible. I'm looking forward to seeing how everyone does. I'm looking forward to watching everyone's videos. It's going to be good. And yeah, I'm really interested to see how we're going to do dual seating this. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just admiring this. Like, I never actually look at this. This is really cool. <laughs> looking at all the individual yeah. blocks that go into making this. Do you know what that picture is in the background there? What? That's taken from 
uh, my my animation. Oh yeah, of you course know, it is the UHC animation. Yeah, this it is... can't have been Minecraft because of that water. Exactly, I spent ages making that water look look really fancy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's one of the first shots as the camera is flying in before I've appeared. Yeah, the well, there you go, some backstory. <laughs> and All I right. think that's everything. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I I. I wish you good luck in this challenge. Ooh. Whoa, my face. <laughs> I'm not the evil dread case anymore. I almost was when I recorded the, um, the announcement video. But uh, yes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been a case. And I've been Odyssey. And we will see you next time. Hello, creeper in the background. <laughs> I'm getting distracted not really anymore. easily. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. Oh. oh, yes. Goodbye. Goodbye.